I'm Jacob Tutu, and this is my house. I mean, my family's house, our new house in Montreal. We just moved here. That's me. And that's my brother Noah. I had my own room. Hurry up in there. But here there aren't enough rooms for everybody, so I have to share with Noah. I mean it. Besides Noah, there's Emma. Hey, Jake, you look minty fresh this morning. <laughs> and Martha. Daniel, hurry up in there. What's all over your face, Jake? Toothpaste. Daniel, I mean it. I beg your pardon. Were you talking to me? I was out of my way. And that's Daniel. He's the oldest and the coolest. They call me Jacob Tutu because I'm the smallest, and I've always had to say things twice to be heard. Excuse me. Excuse me! See what I mean? Come on! <laughs> it's not easy being the littlest. to get my own room. Pretty big room, and I don't have much stuff. And I was wondering if can I move in with you? Oh, I am the eldest. I have lived the longest. I have suffered the likes of all of you for lo these many years. No, and as a reward no, for my no, suffering, I believe no. I deserve a room to myself. Is that too much to ask? Don't even think it, Bub. I'd never share with Marfa or Emma. If there's one thing I've learned in this family, it's that girls are weird. Come along, O'Toole. Right behind you, Shapiro. 
Is it too much to ask? Oh, give it a rest, Hortense. Morning, Jacob. Morning, Mom. So what's wrong with your room? Noah. Excellent. Ah! <laughs> ah, yes. I'm sorry, honey, but there just aren't enough rooms for everyone to have their own. Where's Dad? Up in his office. He's got a deadline to meet, and he's working very hard, so don't disturb him. My dad is a writer. He writes adventure stories about somebody called the Amazing Ronald. He works really, really hard. At least, that's what he always tells us. Mom said you were working very hard. <clears throat> working? Of course I'm working. You were snoring. That may be, but I'm an idea man, and this is how I come up with my ideas. <laughs> the brain never stops, my diminutive friend. What's diminutive? Diminutive. Let's look it up. Ah, D I M. Here it is, diminutive. Little? I am not little. I'm this much bigger than I was last year. I call him as I see him, sport. What's up? Dad, I'd like to have my own room, please. There aren't any more rooms. Except for... <laughs> Needs oil. It smells funny. You don't really want a room up here, do you? Wow. Won't you be scared up here by yourself? Ah! Noah! <laughs> Anything's better than sharing with Noah. Hmm. Give it a trial run first. If you can sleep here tonight, all night, all by yourself, and not get scared, the room is yours. I'll do it. It's bedtime for you when this show is over, Jacob. Okay, Mom. I've made up your bed in the attic, and I'll find you a flashlight. The attic? Jacob's going to sleep in the attic tonight. If he likes it, it'll be his new room. The attic's full of spiders and mice and bats and rats. Arr! I'm not scared. Tomorrow night, a match of the century. The dashingly winsome Whip Smart takes on the despicable and dastardly Hooded Bear. Come out tomorrow night and see me, the Hooded Fang. Give Whip Smarty here my special patented Fangorama Body Slammer. Arr! Come out tomorrow night to see this exciting match. I hear the Hooded Fang never sleeps. At night he roams the city looking for little boys to practice on. He grabs kids right out of bed and gives them the Fangorama Body Slammer. Yeah, woo, yeah, woo, woo. Ooh, ooh, ooh. Noah, yeah, really? Time for bed, Jacob. Thanks, Mom. Watch out for the hooded fang. He's <gasps> coming after you.
At night he roams the city looking for little boys to practice on. The hooded fang never ever sleeps. Watch out for the hooded fang. Coming after you. Grabs kids right out of bed. You know we don't mind you coming in to sleep with us. Yeah, cheer up, buddy. There's nothing to be ashamed of. Everyone gets scared once in a while. And maybe sharing a room with Noah won't be so bad. He can be a very sweet boy. I'm going to try again. That's the spirit. Back up on the horse. You've got to look fear right in the face, kiddo. Stare it down. Yeah, stare it down. Tool, my good fellow. Would you please pass me a towel? With pleasure, Shapiro, old sport. <laughs> I believe my new wrestling name will be Flying Leg Drop O'Toole. Can I come in? No. Why not? Because you're a chicken. Buck, buck, buck off. I can help you think up a wrestling name. We don't need any help. We're horribly dangerous world champion wrestlers. You're not real wrestlers. I'm not afraid of you. Boop. Ah! Chicken! Stare at that! Stare at that! No! Ew! Listen up, you unruly mob! We've got three special surprises planned for us tonight. Surprise number one. I'm taking our one, two, three wrestling fans to see Whip Smart battle the Hooded Fang. Yay! The Hooded Fang. Surprise number two. For our surly teens, a ride to the movies and a modicum of spending money. We are not going to the same movie. Out of the question. I'll take you to the multiplex. You can go to different movies and pretend you don't know each other. Deal. Surprise number three. A night of peace and quiet for Mother. Not bad. Uh -huh. hey, yeah, uh. Hooded Fang! We want the Hooded Fang! We want to see a fight! I've been looking forward to this all day. This is going to be some fight, eh, Jake? Look fear right in the face. Ladies and gentlemen, I'm afraid there will be a short delay before the fight begins this evening. No way! Bring on the hooded fang! Ah, popcorn. Who will sally forth in search of snack foods? I'll go. I'll come with you. Jakey needs his daddy. I do not. I'll go by myself. All right, then. Popcorn and sodas. For all my friends. It's just out the door. Around the corner, a hang right. Uh, uh, I think so. Left. No. Uh, through the green door. Maybe by the time I get back, the whole thing will be over. Green door. Green door? Excuse me! First he slams me! Now this! Where is he? He's not in his dressing room! Well, he's got to be here somewhere! Excuse me! Find him! We've got to get this show on the road! Excuse me, where can I buy... Popcorn? <gasps> I'm, I'm, I'm not fighting the whip smart guy, no way! I'm oh my gosh! The hooded fang! I'm sorry. 
I'm sorry. I thought you were the hooded thing. Yeah, I get that a lot. <gasps> you can call me Gary. I'm Jacob. What the heck are you doing in here? I got lost and I heard the fang coming and... What are you doing in here? I, 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 I was getting a mop. I'm the janitor. Do you know the hooded fang? I heard him saying he wasn't going to fight Whip Smart. My dad will be really disappointed if he doesn't. Why won't he fight him? Well, don't go spreading this around, Jacob. But the fang is a little... nervous. Nervous? You mean, he's scared? The fang is scared. I don't believe it. I gotta go now. Don't forget your mop. Right. Thanks, kid. I know what it's like to be scared. Dad says if I can sleep in the attic, I can have my own room. But when I tried, I was afraid, and all my brother and sister call me chicken. Older brother and sister? Yeah, I'm the littlest, the most diminutive. I was the littlest in my family, too. You? But you're huge. Well, I used to be little. My brothers used to call me Scary Cat and make meowing sounds. It drove me up the wall. My brother and sister make chicken noises. Ah, uh, what do they know? Just ignore them. Hey! I gotta hide. Hey! for the hooded fang. Why do you have to hide? Because he'll make me tell where the fang is. Hmm. Just stay here and be quiet. Fang, where are you? Fang! Fang! Ugh. Hey, what are you doing here? I didn't see the fang back there. He must be that way. Nah, I looked over there already. Go back and check again. I'll look some more back here. Yeah? Yeah, oh, okay. Hey! Nice one. You're a smart kid, Jake. Thanks. No problem, Gary. I gotta go now. I gotta... mop the parking lot. Mop the parking lot? I gotta get the key in here. Come on, I'm gonna get Come on, Gary. Wait, wait! I said wait! Ugh. Let go or I'll tell the hooded fang. But I want you to tell him something. You sure don't act like a chicken. What do you want me to tell him? You have to tell him that he shouldn't be afraid because he's the scariest wrestler in town. That's what my brother says. And he has to fight because lots and lots of people bought tickets to see him. And besides, my dad says when you're scared, you've just got to look your fears right in the face and stare him down. You know, that's real good advice. Your dad must be a pretty smart guy. Maybe, but he's no good at directions. Can you tell me where the popcorn stand is? Four large popcorns and four sodas, please. Four large popcorns and four sodas, please. I could do the first time. And here he is, the Hooded Fang! The Hooded Fang! I bet Gary told him what I said. Where's Dad? It took so long he went looking for you. <laughs> Prepare for the Fangorama Body Slimmer! <laughs> He's a chicken, just like you. I'm not a chicken, and I'm not scared of the hooded thing. I'm not. What? 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 Did I hear someone say they're not afraid of me? Uh-oh. Ah! Ladies and gentlemen, meet the Hooded Fang's next opponent. Or should I say, next victim. So Jake did come back. Oh, oh flimsy cups. Are there any napkins? Oh, thanks. I will stomp you like the little bug you are. You? And what are 
army. I don't need no stinking army. Yeah, well, you, you sure smell like one. Okay, Mr. Wise Guy. <gasps> so where is he? Where's Jacob? Looks like it's time for my fang <laughs> oh. body slammer! Jake! <laughs> Look fear right in the face. Right in the face. Gary? I'm not afraid of you. Just fooling, folks. Jacob here is one of my best buddies. I go to him for excellent wrestling advice. Catch <gasps> you later, Jake. Sure thing, Fang. I'm still looking for someone to fight. How about you two? No, 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 no. How did you meet the hooded Fang? And does he really come to you for advice? I'd rather not say, my diminutive friends. That's between me and the Fang. With no Noah. Flying Leg Drop O'Toole. And Shanghai Headlock Shapiro here. Today we're going to show you how to make your very own wrestling costume. First, you're going to need some muscle. <laughs> Just find a shirt with long sleeves that's a little too big for you. Put it on and fill it up with socks wherever you want muscles. Next, you need one of the most important parts of your costume. The cape. Just go to the bathroom and pick out a towel. Then use safety pins. Be careful with them and pin your cape to your shirt. Ta-da! Next, you need scary face makeup. Black eyebrow pencils are excellent for giving yourself a scary face. Arr! Now, you're ready to fight. Noah! <gasps> Did you take my makeup? 